nothing but former head of Twitter security Peter Zatko on Tuesday told Congress about the tech giants widespread issues with keeping foreign adversaries from working at the company and exploiting internal data. Twitter would be a goldmine uh, from my understanding from people in the community who focus on foreign intelligence organizations and assets. If you placed somebody in Twitter as I believe that, you know, as we know has happened, um, it would be very difficult to Twitter to find them. Uh, they would probably be able to stay there for a long period of time and gain uh, a significant amount of information. In his opening remarks, Senator Chuck Grassley noted that Zatko's disclosures helped uncover evidence that India was able to place at least two foreign assets on payroll at the company and that China had at least one agent at Twitter as well. Zach Cohn noted these agents could be embedded to figure out what information Twitter might censor or to use internal software to find user phone numbers, current and former email addresses, and even where Twitter thinks a user lives. This is the information that you need in order to start taking over other people's accounts. Once I know your home address and your home phone number, I can approach you in real life. I can put pressure on you. I could possibly recruit you. You could be a witting or unwitting uh, accomplice. And then I could influence you or target you for, for influence operations in the real world. Zatko also said that former users may be at risk of having their data exposed too. I was told straight out um, by the chief privacy officer that the FTC had come and asked, Do, does Twitter delete user information when they uh, leave the platform. Instead of answering whether we delete user data, we intentionally have replied, we deactivate users and try to sidestep the program because we know we do not delete user data and cannot comply with that. A Twitter spokesperson told Newsy that today's hearing only confirms that Mr. Zatko's allegations are riddled with inconsistencies and inaccuracies. The company also said its hiring process is independent of foreign influence and includes background checks. Tyler Adkison, Newsy.